Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast once again. Um, switching things up a little bit, doing it an hour earlier because this is Independence Day. So I'm going to be scurrying off to go play with some friends, even though I'm English. I'm going to celebrate <laughs> fireworks and stuff today, like most people living in this country. Um, so before I jump in, let me start with my name. And I'm sorry if my camera's a little bit temperamental. I'm still figuring some kinks out in my system, but hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. I do these talks every day called Messages for the Masculine to inspire the feminine heart. And today's topic, sorry, today's talk is number 398. So two more to go uh, for the next milestone. And topic today, since it is Independence Day, is are you independent from your stuff or are you a slave? And I'm using those two as intentionally to provoke you to get some ideas brewing and to have you think about some things. Because frankly, frankly, most of us are slaves to our beliefs, our rules, and our limiting judgments about ourselves that we run like an autopilot. And frankly, autopilot is a great thing for planes. It's a great thing for when you're successful. But when you're having challenges, it's not a good thing to have because the challenge you face is that you think that everything's going fine, but you're not getting what you want. So I'm going to talk about that in a bit more relationship-centric conversation and also put you in some, um, what's we're looking for? Clarity about the independence versus slave mentality. So let me start with the independence piece first. If you've watched my broadcast before, and I have done 397 before this, there's plenty to look at. I do talk about um, independence versus interdependence and codependence, which are basically paradigms and limited ways of doing things that don't help you in a relationship. And independence in the sense of, um, relationship as a paradigm isn't really working. So I'm speaking more about your personal relationship with yourself. And that's what we're going to talk about is the internal dialogue, the internal programming, the internal stuff, because when you do get this, it could change your life. Now, if you want to have success in your life, you might listen to this. It's a powerful piece that I'm going to give you that I'm still working on myself. So I'm not perfect at it. So I'm letting you know them in process, but I want to make sure you see this because it could change your life. Possibly. So first of all, we all run stuff, and I mean stuff as a general catch-all, a bucket, if you will, of our judgments, beliefs, rules, um, commitments, vows, oaths, agreements, self-proclaimed proclaimed ways of doing things that, frankly, don't give us what we want. I was talking before about the law of attraction and the words we use and the power of our word and everything else. This is the part of it you, we don't normally talk about. Because you say, well, I'll do affirmations, and I'll say that I want to have this, 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 and this, which is great. But unfortunately, you've got this automatic pilot running, this programming, this stuff that you are slave to, yes, slave to, that's telling you certain things that you don't want, but your findings go one direction, meanwhile, party's pulling back in the other direction. And it doesn't work. So what I want to make sure you understand and that you um, get a handle on is the recognition that your beliefs are malleable. And so are all the other things I mentioned, oaths, vows, commitments, agreements, everything else. Agreements especially, because we sometimes think we made an agreement, we're stuck with it. Now, some of those agreements are with other people. That's a different story, and I'm not going to get into those unless I need to. But start with the agreements you have with yourself. Yes, you may have a laundry list of them without realizing it. If you look at your own life and look at the, the, your daily life, let's just look at the last week, for example. And consider, let's say, actually no, let's look at say Monday, this week, two days ago. When you woke up in the morning, what did you tell yourself? What thoughts, beliefs, rules were you running when you first woke up? Like, I'm going to be late, or I need my cup of coffee, or I'm not looking forward to, forward to being done with the day even, or are you going to get coffee? It's like, what tapes are running in your head, those limiting, automatic, beliefs and agreements that you run every day without realizing it. Because if you become clear on that alone, just the first 20 seconds of your day, if you get clear about what those are, you can change your whole paradigm. You can change the way you live your life. You can change your ability to succeed. 
Now this is relevant to relationships, business, love, life, everywhere. So this is not necessarily specific for your dating life, although it can play out there too, because how many of you, like me at times as well, have declared ourselves unworthy of who we met? Like you're on a date and you look at somebody else and go, I don't deserve them. Or the other way around where you go, no, I'm too good for that. What rules are you running that limit you from meeting new people? What rules are you running? What beliefs are you running? What agreements are you running that's, that exclude you from interacting with life in a way that you maybe want to and haven't been able to? It's because you've been telling yourself lies, frankly. And that limited viewpoint is the slavery we subscribe to ourselves internally. I'm not talking about the big slavery with capital S and about the internal one where we're slaves to our beliefs and our programming because we didn't choose differently. And it's a key word, choose. Because those beliefs and rules you're running that are automatic, that are subconscious, that are happening without you even thinking about it because you just default to them, are all changeable by making a different choice. So the independence from those that stuff, the independence of those beliefs, those thinkings, those rules, are really simply a matter of changing your choice. It sounds so simple, doesn't it? So if that's the case, why don't we all do it? Let me give you a little piece of that. One is we forget because part of this work is to be vigilant, to be aware and to be awake at all times so that when we start saying things to ourselves that aren't affirmative, that aren't positive, that are actually limiting what we want, we can say, whoa, hang on a second. That's not true because 90% of what you're telling yourself isn't true, but you're making it so because you keep repeating it automatically without thinking about it. So for you to take charge, to take back that um, limited thinking and say, you know what, I'm gonna replace it with something better. This is a foundational piece and I've done this work myself for over several years and still getting better and better at it. It's not, I don't believe, and I could be wrong again, so well, look what I'm telling myself. I was about to say, I don't believe that it's, in, it's possible to have a 100% successful record of positive words all the time. That's my limited thinking. So I need to change that. So right in this moment, I'll just say this. It's quite possible, I believe. Actually, it's quite possible. I have no, I have no way of knowing differently. That it's possible to have a 100% positive affirmation about herself every single moment, every single day. I'm not there yet. That's the fact. That's where I know I am growing. Maybe you aren't too. If you are there... Good on you, but you're rare in the population. So the choice is to be vigilant, to be present, to be aware, which is what it requires to be independent of all this stuff. To see your life clearly through a lens that you can decide every moment to go, I don't want, what I want is this, not that. And eventually you won't worry about that because you'll be focusing on this, if you know what I mean. So the more you can affirm your truth, the more you can stay true to what you really want, the more you can claim, own, and declare what's real for you, then the sooner you won't have to worry about the stuff anymore. Because the reality is that stuff doesn't need to be cleared out so much as it needs to be um, replaced. And the more you focus on your own clarity, decisions of what you want to choose, what you want to have, where you want to be, in relationship, in business, wherever it is you're looking to the application of that effort, the sooner those programs don't have default operation anymore. Because what happens is, and this is a piece that you may want to learn, is that when you create a new habit, and this is what these programs are, are habits, the habitual routines of belief and of rules that either work for you or work against you. Those habits are installed over a period of, a bit, they, the estimates are roughly between 25 and 35 days. So if you want to commit, and this is your home at possibility assignment if you want it, is commit to doing for this for a minimum of 25, but ideally 35 days, of first thing in the morning when you get up, and maybe you wanna have a journal by your bed or have a piece of paper with this statement on it in front of you saying, stop, think, choose. Yes, stop, think, choose. Meaning that instead of waking up in the morning with your regular default wiring that goes, I need coffee, I need a shower, oh, I hate my job, or I don't wanna get up, or I wanna sleep in five more minutes, whatever that is, and you see this page and you might want to stick it on the ceiling or on your bedside table or on the wall or the door of the bedroom, wherever it is you want to put it. But have these three words, stop, think, choose. Because when you use that affirmation, that statement, that declaration rather, and say, okay, stop, whoa, whoa, whoa hang a second. Stop what I'm thinking that's not matching me. What do I want to think? 
get clear about what you want to have that day to be like, and then choose that to be the way you want to do things. If you do that every day for 35 days, again, 25 minimum, ideally 35, it will change your life. That's simple in action. Now, what you choose to use as the languaging is up to you. But again, as I was suggesting, if you are driven by automatic limiting framing, when you wake up in the morning that says things like, you know, I, I hate my job, I don't want to get up, I want to sleep more, um, I go to the gym tomorrow instead of today, whatever those things are that you um, reference and language for yourself, they're actually going to be replaced by something more powerful. But it requires you to have some, some um, what they call, well, in NLP they call it a pattern interrupt. But basically having something interrupt the flow, because if you get up in the morning and do it every day, you're going to retrain the habit. Again, 25, 35 days. So have that sheet of paper in front that says stop, think, choose as your interrupt of your own automatic programming so you can, in fact, rewire your programming belief. I think I might do that as well. Then I'll just out it myself because I'm still working on this too, as I said, and I think it wouldn't hurt. No, it wouldn't hurt. I'll do this as well. So my commitment is I'm going to put a piece of paper up that I will see. This is stop, think, just stop, think, choose, same framing to change my wiring. So I invite you to do the same. That's your homework assignment if you choose it, your homework possibility assignment, as I called it. Because unless your life's working perfectly the way it is and you don't, and you don't care about changing it, then you're on a slave necessary to what's limiting you. But if you want to be independent of that old programming, it's a good way to install new wiring, new choice, new languaging, new, um, a new decision for what you really want to do. So try that on for size. And if this is the case, 35 days, that's going to be August, say August 10th. Well, actually, probably August 3rd, but somewhere in there. So if you're willing to go the rest of July in the first week of August doing this, I would love to know in the comments below or message me over social media or go to my website and click on the contact button and let me know how it goes. I'd love to see what it will do for you. This could change your life. And again, taking what you're running as automatic programming and replacing it with something more align directional and positive for where you want to go, it doesn't cost you anything. Just a little bit of time in the morning and maybe during the day. But if you start doing this, you might be very surprised with the results. So I think that's really what I'm going to say today. This is Independence Day, as I mentioned, so I want to do something on the theme of independence. And to be honest, um, I must give my props to um, a fellow journeyer named Eva Charlotte, because she posted something about independence to ourselves, and that had me think about this, and that's why I did this topic. So I was inspired by somebody else, but this is my perspective, my flavor on this, that may help you get some clarity of where you want to go. So if you haven't seen my broadcast before, this is my daily Facebook Live that becomes YouTube broadcast. It eventually becomes a podcast, so it's my daily broadcast, since it goes different places. And this is number 398. So Friday, which is in two days, will be number 400. I'm not sure if I'll do something big for that one. I didn't. I, I sort of announced a 300, a 365, and a 200, I think, but didn't do one at 400, but we'll see what happens. But if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day. Um, and the intention is to support you in having what you want in love, life, and business, particularly helping women, but also helping men. This work, this work, this message today, by the way, is for everybody. It's Independence Day, so why not? So I hope it helps you get where you want to go and get you what gets you what you want. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, you can watch them on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, or on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. The playlist is Message for the Masculine. Also, on my website, you can find my uh, discovery session. You want to sign up for a discovery session to find out how I can help you. That's barryselby.com forward slash chat. Or you can get my book there. Um, also, my coaching is there, and these broadcasts will be on the video blog. And I think that's everything. If you have any questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them below. And if you want to share this with somebody else, please do so. And hopefully it'll help them as well. And you've got your homework. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the fireworks tonight. Stay safe. And I'll see you again tomorrow.